as we get into the final few days of the year, you could call it perhaps the melt up that we are seeing for the major averages here. We have for the last several years seen stocks rally for the um, Santa Claus period, as it's called, the last five days, five sessions of the year, the next couple of the new year. Um, this time around, we've seen it as a pretty steady stream upward, right, uh, with not many pauses, even though it's just a little bit day by day. And that means that we are getting closer and closer to a record for the S&P 500. Now, as we've talked about yesterday, the closing record high, 47.9656. So we're not there, but sort of like inching, 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 maybe yep. inevitably, inexorably in that direction. Um, the S&P 500 is up for five straight sessions. And what we've seen on the NASDAQ side of things is the NASDAQ 100 is setting up for its best year going back to 1999, the composite for its best year since 2003. So in other words, to sum all that up, yeah. closing strong. Yeah, I mean, we are, as you noted, Joe, we're in the middle of the Santa Claus rally. At least some technicians I'm reading when they look at the charts here, they don't see reason for alarm in the very near term, at least. Any pullbacks they think would be, you know, mild investors probably, they think just interested in kind of maintaining the status quo. As we wrap up, what you say has been a very strong year here, a strong run. That is, of course, you can chalk that up to the boom of interest in AI. That has helped lead the charge for the so-called magnificent since seven, that's Amazon, Apple, Alphabet, Meta, and Tesla. But also, no, we, you know, the rally, it's not just the Magnificent Seven. As we've talked to different strategists, that has been rallying, right? We talked to a lot about the, the small caps, the equal weighted indexes yeah. starting to participate here as well. And that, of course, if that continues, that's that's a bullish sign. Yeah, that has been something that has been encouraging stuff, and uh, encouraging strategists. And by the way, it's also not just stocks, right? Uh, some data out from Bespoke today shows that the 60-40 portfolio is back, baby. 60% stocks, 40% bonds. Yeah, which is yep. sort of the classic allocation here. And so Bespoke looked at the numbers and said, now we are very, very close to this combined portfolio, seeing its best performance over the two, last two months, going back to at least 1990. So they're looking at the rolling two-month performance of this 60-40 portfolio. That's what you're looking at here. So uh, very, very close to the best that we have seen. And it is because stocks have been doing well, but even more importantly, it is because of the big turnaround that we have seen in bonds over the last couple of months uh, with uh, the buying happening in the bond market, pushing yields lower. And by the way, we talk all the time about treasuries, but it's not just happening in the treasury market, it's happening in the corporate market as well. So that's all of that contributing to that performance. Yeah, it is true. We see the, the market, you know, we do talk about how that's kind of the rally has been broadening, though there was some interesting stats from Bespoke as well. Well, saying, you know, relatively high number of stocks, they point out, with gains over 100%. There haven't been as many outperforming the SPX, Bespoke pointing out. In a typical year, they say on average about 49% call of the SPX members post larger gains than the index itself. This year, less than 30%.